Hello, welcome to the channel. This is Goble Golf. I'm Zach Goble. Um, and this is the first video of the channel and the series of dropping my handicap. Um, we will be using the SkyTrack unit. Uh, this is the, the computer setup that we'll be using. Uh, this is the actual SkyTrack unit here. And that's what the entire basis of this first series will be. We're going to use the practice, the rounds, everything about the SkyTrack. We're gonna break it down and we're gonna use it to try to lower our handicap. Uh, my handicap right now is a 10.3 and that's based off of 18 birdies. I'm not a member at any course, um, just like many of you out there. So we're going to, a little into the 18 birdies as well. It's an app that you can download on your phone. Uh, you plug in your, every hole you plug in your fairways hit, greens and regulation, putts per hole, chips, uh, penalty shots if you go in the hazard or out of bounds. Um, and it keeps up with your handicap for you. And it's a free app, it's fantastic. It's called 18 birdies. I'll list the uh, name in the description below. <clears throat> it's uh it's fantastic and then at the end of your round it'll tell you your averages of fairways hit um grids and regulations putts per hole yada 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 so uh i'll give you a little uh, since this is the first video i'll give you a little tour of the room we are in augusta georgia so home of the masters the augusta national uh, always repping so we're part of the series we'll be doing is augusta public courses and we'll be playing 10 rounds on all the public courses around augusta we will use that 10 rounds to get a handicap and see what our handicap for that 10 rounds is and to see how low it drops our handicap uh, i would love to drop my handicap to below below an eight uh, this is 10.3 right now. Uh, hefty goal, but using SkyTrack, I do believe it's possible. And I want y'all to see if the SkyTrack is worth it. It's one of the most affordable simulators, uh, golf simulators out there. And we're, my wife and I are lucky enough to have it. So we're going to break into it, show you every little bit about it. Um, as you can see on the screen here, uh, we'll go into everything about the SkyTrack. So this is the actual SkyTrack app itself. Uh, and there's, I have the Golf Club 2019, which is what we'll use to play rounds on the SkyTrack. We'll also upload some videos on that. We'll probably do uh, six or nine holes at a time, just so the videos don't get too long. Um, but, so I'll show you all around. Um, like here's the little computer station, the SkyTrack itself. Uh, I'll list all this in the description below of where I got this. I got it at Rain or Shine Golf. Uh, the whole package, the SkyTrack, the metal housing, um, the actual SkyTrack software. Uh, it came with a um, came with a card to activate that. The mat to hit on, two alignment sticks. The, oh, sorry, the projector. Uh, sorry, Peter the parrot did not come with the package. Had to get that separate. Um, let's see. Uh, also got this perfect putt mat. You've probably seen it online uh, on the golf channel or whatever. Uh, Dutton, I wouldn't recommend it on carpet. It was very hard to level and only one side rolls right. So I would only put that on a hard flat surface because it was super hard to get even one side level the whole way down the putting lane. Um, so we are the Goebbels, probably backwards for y'all, I don't know, but we are the Goebbels. That's a neon sign from our wedding. We posted all that. My wife and I play college sports. She's in the middle of volleyball and I play baseball. So 
this is a sports themed room, as you can see, baseball. So this room is actually a little closet. I say little, it's fairly large. Uh, and here will be a bar top for the, this will be where the guys sit uh, when we play rounds and stuff together. Mini fridge will be in here, bar top, got a TV already mounted, dartboard. So this is gonna be, there'll be a bench seat right here. That will be coming soon. I will show you all that when it's finished. Also, as you can see here, those are driver skid marks. And I will also post, don't know off the top of my head, I'll post it in the description. This size room is the minimum I would suggest anyone getting. getting. I can't move my mat anywhere else in this room to where I am not either hitting my ceiling or hitting the back wall or hitting the screen with the driver. So I will measure this again. And I believe it was a little bigger than what the recommendations were, but I'm a tall guy, I'm 6'3", long and I get my wingspan's 6'6", six, uh, six, six, so not everybody needs this much room, but I will put the my uh, length and width dimensions in the description so y'all have that information and that's the minimum i would suggest anyone do because like i said i can't get i can't move it anywhere else i'm actually not even hitting into the middle of the screen which is where it'll be lined up uh as you can see on the floor here there's an alignment stick that's where i'm hitting into uh i'm hitting directly into that and it'll show up in the middle if i hit it online with the alignment stick uh, but I had to offset it because of the size of the room. Um, uh, well, I will I will give y'all a little breakdown. We'll just do a couple swings so y'all can see how it, so it clicked on Skytrack. This would just be like a rain practice. And we will set y'all back here. Zoom this. Oh, can't zoom out. Oh, no. Well, just have to trust that I hit the ball. Oh. Uh, we'll just do a little 52 degree wedge. Another recommendation. Golf shoes wear them when you're hitting on your simulator because if you don't if you hit barefoot or a different side like a flat shoe or something you're not the same level as you will be on the golf course so you'll be it'll take some adjusting on the course to get that figured out and you do not want that another great suggestion club cleaner i only use new balls because I don't want to dirty the white screen. But the club cleaner, you get dirt in your grooves on the sole. That cleans it so it doesn't get on the ball and then get on the screen. Uh, so we will, so you have to face, I'm hitting Bridgestones. You have to face the logo towards the Skytrack. It's a photo based system. So it gives it something to read, the spin. I'm just gonna hit a 52 degree wedge, uh, a couple swings so y'all can see how it works. Bit slicey and a bit fat. The great thing about this swing turf from Rainer Shine Golf different than most uh, turf you hit on at ranges is if you hit it fat it shows I didn't hit that that fat it went 116 I usually hit this about 130 125 130 but it will show every time you do it which is fantastic so I'm gonna try to get one good one for y'all That was a little off the toe. We're going right again. Oh. Ah. As you can 
stay off barefoot. I had not hit. Excuses, excuses. All right, we'll get one down the middle here. Get my legs involved. That one struck much better. Okay. 125 carry. 1100 spin. That's about where I want that club. Pulled it a little left, but I'm very happy with that shot. And that gives y'all a an idea of how it works. So, hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you have any recommendations, uh, future videos, what y'all want to see uh, out of the sky track. If you have any questions, uh, just throw them in the comments down below. If y'all could like, subscribe, um, that'd be fantastic be much appreciated and always remember it will never go in the hole if you don't swing so get out there and play some golf see y'all